hi once again in this video we're going to use our ESP32 to get measurements from uh, a sensor a humidity and temperature sensor this one is called THT11 it's part of a larger family uh, you might uh, have in your kit a DHT22 which is exactly the same shape but uh, the color here is white and uh, we're going to connect this to our ESP32 first of all let's find some uh, diagram for the connection and a suitable code let me browse my web once more to find something ready for us I will search for Wokwi which is a simulator both for Arduino and DSP boards and uh, ESP32 and THT there are some hits the first one is a Wokwi project as it says here I use this uh, project because it's very simple as you see it only uses three cables for connections between the DHT sensor and the ESP32 never mind that this one is a DHT22 it is uh, it is the same thing with the DHT11 there are the same three pins that we need to connect to ESP32 and uh, the only difference in the code that we will use which is here is that in the setup line of the sensor we will change THT22 to DHT11 that is of course if you have the DHT11 the blue one because if you have the white one you leave the code as is this is a very simple code as you see it uh, uses a library which is called DHT uh, for ESP32 I will show you how to install it in the Arduino IDE and uh, in the setup routine uh, it only initializes the sensor by telling him which pin the data are sent you see that earlier in the code this pin is identified as uh, the pin 15 and you can see that also in the diagram here is ESP D15 that goes to the pin on the sensor that uh, sends the data the sensor has only three uh, pins one for the data one for VCC and one for ground so these are the three pins that we will also uh, use from our sensor for connecting to the board the ESP board this is the ESP board uh, as I have them here you see that on the PCB there are the names of each pin that is VCC data and ground so we see from the colors of my cables that white is the VCC brown is the data and black is GND so I will connect them to my ESP32 uh, development board I'm keeping it uh, in the same uh, way uh, like the diagram that you see on the screen right now so my VCC which I said is the white cable goes down here my ground which is the black cable goes to the next pin and my data cable which is the green one as you see it in the diagram but it's the brown one for me goes to the next pin this is it only three cables needed for this very simple experiment 
I will copy this code and go to the Arduino ID I'm expecting a new sketch here it is paste the code that I copied from Edge so as I said earlier all you have to do is initialize your sensor I will change this one from 22 to 11 because I have DHT 11 the blue one and uh, then in the loop for routine there's nothing to change uh, as you see data are read from DHT sensor get temp and humidity this is the routine that makes the measurement DHT sensor is the object you see it in the definition at the top of the code it is a DHT for ESP object and then temperature and humidity return from this line to the object data and data has two members the temperature value and humidity value that we print at the serial console uh, one thing that uh, we need to change here because uh, it is a specification of uh, DHT sensor family is this delay over here because the blue sensor DHT11 cannot uh, make measurements uh, unless uh, there is a two second break between them uh, that is different for ESP22 you can uh, make a new measurement every one second in the white DHT uh, 22 but you need at least two seconds for the DHT 11 so I will change this one to delay 2000 or even more let's make it 4000 so that it can make a new measurement every four seconds but it can't make make it less than two whatever you put here above two it's okay so last thing before plugging this uh, to my USB port is to make sure that I have the necessary libraries and as I told earlier there is a library called THP, DHT for uh, ESP32 this is the include line for it but since this is the first time I use it in this uh, machine I would have to go to manage libraries search for DHT ESP32 and uh, this is it DHT Central Library for ESPX by Biggie Tokyo okay I install this one it is already installed very good so I'm ready to run my code I need to select board again as you see, since I haven't connected my ESP32, I get two other COMs, COM3 and COM4, which are unknown. So I'm now going to plug my ESP32 to one of my USB ports, and you saw that you see here that an unknown COM6 port appeared immediately. That is the new port that comes with uh, my board so uh, yes I selected COM6 but it doesn't know which board it is let's make it clear for it ESP32 of course there are many ESP32 here I have to find my development uh, my dev module this is it 
ESP32 dev module. Okay. And now I'm ready. It says here ESP32 dev module on COM6. Very good. Uh, I changed the value here. I changed the DHT type here. The only thing that I have to do is upload the code, compile and upload. I'll do it directly from the upload button. Compiling has started. Remember when the dots appear, you have to press the boot, the boot button so that the code can be uploaded. I'm waiting. We're still in the compile stage. Okay, connecting dots, press, release, didn't work the first time, second time, second time it did work. Now the code has been uploaded to the board, so the only thing I have to do to test that my code works is open the serial monitor because as you see in the code, all that code does every time it takes measurements is printing them in the serial console. So I go to Tools, Serial Monitor, and expect to see messages here. You see strange characters here because, because it says 9 1600 baud while the serial object has been initialized to 115,200 baud. So I change this and now you see measurements of temperature and humidity every four seconds from the couple of the ESP32. Uh, development module and the blue DHT 11 uh, humidity and temperature uh, sensor. Uh, 